Hotel Television. Welcome back to Thanksgiving week at Telepan TV. We've got our second episode of Size. We're going to do cauliflower for you. We're going to do a cauliflower gratin. Not quite like the one your mom used to make. So we're doing the cauliflower. Now, as you see over here, we got some beautiful cauliflowers that are out there right now. We got your basic white. We got a Romanesco here. We got the orange or a cheddar one, which is higher in carotene. That's why it has the orange. And then we have the purple one. Yes, that is really a purple cauliflower. So we're going to start by taking the cauliflower, and what you want to do is take, start by taking the core out. And remove the, the, the stem and the leaves. What we're going to do is just sort of kind of chop up the cauliflower instead of break it up into florets. Just sort of get like, you know, pieces like so. As many good pieces like that as possible. And this will help cook it a little more evenly, and you can brown it, get a nice flavor on it. I like browning these fall vegetables instead of steaming them so much because you can really draw a lot of the flavor from from the uh, from browning. What we're looking to do here is we're going to make a, a gratin in the style of having instead of having like a in the past you know it would be like this sort of cheddar cheese sauce on it. What we're going to do is mix it with. Um, some farmer's cheese, and then add a little breadcrumb mix to it and grande it out. So, get your hot pan going. You want to wait till all the butter is melted and bubbly. You start to get a little brown on it. And then just slide your slices in there like so. If you get a piece that's not both sides flat, always just put the flat side down. You're looking to get one really good slice, one really good side. Brown. Just trying to get some good color on some of the pieces over here. This should make enough for eight people. You're going to let it sit for another minute like this, like so. We'll add a little salt to that. And here, you're going to add again a little stock of water. I'm going to take it to about halfway up your larger pieces. We add a couple nuggets of butter in there. And what the butter will do, again, we'll sort of add some good flavor to it. And we'll also help it glaze. And you'll see that happen as we go. We're going to let that sort of breathe again until it gets to a good sort of tender point. Meanwhile, while that's cooking, we're going to make our breadcrumb mixture. So we're going to take about four tablespoons of breadcrumbs. And to that, we're going to add about a tablespoon of parsley, a tablespoon of Parmesan cheese, a pinch of salt. Just work that together like so. You want it to be tender enough, but it's still like a little al dente at this point. We're going to take some of the farmer's cheese, and we're just going to stir that in. And let that cook a little more. So that sort of blends in. Alright, so we're at the point where we're going to take it out of the pan. So we can cover it in our, our breadcrumbs. And if you have a broiler, turn on your broiler. Let it brown a little at the top. It to takes about a couple, you know, 30 seconds to about a minute and a half, depending on how strong your broiler works. Check it out. Oh, great. We've got some good color on it. And there you have it. Not your mother's cauliflower gratin. Telepan TV. Happy Thanksgiving.